And finally, Director of Customer Service, Linda Farley, knows good service when she sees it. And she says you can find it at her steakhouse pick. She says the staff makes her feel like she's the only one in the place. And not to mention their delectable steaks are presented beautifully. It's located in Boca Raton and it's called Abe and Louis. Hi, I'm Lou Langer. I'm the general manager of Abe and Louis in Boca Raton. We're originally a Boston-based steakhouse. We have two locations uh, in Boston still and here in Boca Raton. Uh, we're truly a world-class steakhouse, but with somewhat of a traditional feel, uh, with uh, rich leathers and mahogany woods and a little bit of Sinatra in the background. And, and also really a family restaurant. We're, we're really a, a part of this community. We celebrated the milestones uh, from kindergarten graduations to 100th birthday parties and everything in between with this community. We primarily are a USDA prime steakhouse, but we do offer cuts of different grades as well, uh, often featuring an Australian Wagyu, which goes off a different whole marble score system. Uh, uh, buying the best possible quality products allows us to serve the best possible quality products to our guests. My favorite steak in the restaurant is definitely the bone-in ribeye because you get that marriage between uh, a, a heavily marbled steak and the flavor coming directly off the bone. Haven Louis is really about an emotional connection that we have with our guests. You know, uh, dining has become somewhat pedestrian in our, in our community and in, in our world, and Haven Louis is really a throwback to that connection you have with a place, a place where you come into and you immediately feel at home, you immediately feel at ease. So Linda, tell us about the experience and Abe and Louis and what stands out to you. Abe and Louis is a excellent steakhouse that you go to either a celebration or you want a good steak dinner or just a plain dinner. People go to eat, this place you go to dine. So tell me what you ate this last time you went there. We started off with a, a Caesar salad. It's so big you have to share it. A couple of my friends had uh, onion soup, which they said was the best they ever had, and uh, crab, a uh, fresh crab. They absolutely adored it. We then had a bone-in ribeye steak that was cooked to perfection, hash browns, sautéed spinach. It was amazing. Wow. You just made me very the, hungry. The uh, steak that came out, the smells, you could just bottle it. Nice. Ro, tell me about your experience at Abe & Louis. It reminds me of an old world steakhouse. And from the moment that my daughter and I sat down, we actually brought our own bottle and paid a corkage fee. And our waiter was nice enough to decant it for us. And we went on to order the porterhouse for two, which was presented beautifully. It comes cut from the kitchen. We asked for medium. I would ask for medium plus. Now I know why people were saying plus, because it was a little on the raw side for us. And we ordered their Brussels sprouts. And I will tell you the meal was just perfect. And the service was really impeccable. I, I couldn't have asked for a better waiter. So it was a good piece of meat. Oh yes, oh yes, tender like butter. So Chris, I know you went for brunch and um... You liked it, but I feel like you could have loved it. So what do you think you could have done differently? So I think differently that it's a steakhouse. You're meant to go there at night. I think that they probably have amazing steaks at night as everyone else has said. However, I went for brunch and the brunch was good, but not something I would return to, but I need to try it again at night. So tell us what you had. We had the bacon for the appetizer and we also had the crab cocktail. The bacon was great, really thick slices of bacon with blue cheese on top of it. Very good thick bacon that, you know, it's a, a big rage nowadays. And then for the appetizer, we had the, the crab cocktail, which was really good also. It was very fresh, very good. Okay. You had a turkey sandwich, correct? Yeah, the turkey sandwich was really good. It was a good turkey sandwich. I mean, but it's my fault. I ordered a turkey sandwich, right? I ordered these great steaks. And you're talking about, you know, the blood of the steak and everything else. Well, I ordered a turkey sandwich. Ro, tell us a little bit about the prices. Um, you did order a big steak and um, you did pay a little corkage. So did you find that um, the food was worth the price? 
Uh, yes, I really did find it to be worth the cost. Um, mm -hmm. The corkage fee was fine for me. We took a very, very nice bottle of wine with us. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you're going to have a perfect steak like we did, you're going to pay for it. So it's pricey. It's I wouldn't be able to go there weekly, but I would definitely go back for special occasion. Well, Linda, Abe and Louis was your pick. So sum it up for us, please. If you want fine dining in a great atmosphere with excellent service and fantastic food, it's either a celebration or a wonderful dining experience. Abe and Louis is the place to go. Chris, can you sum it up for us? I think it would be a great steakhouse. They probably have amazing steaks at night, but I went for brunch. So it was my mistake, completely my mistake. <laughs> Chris, I just think you need to eat a steak for brunch and get over it. <laughs> I, I should have, but I didn't, so. Uh, okay, next time, next time. Ro, give me your summary. Old world charm and a wonderful steak experience. Definitely going back. Well, you can meet your friends and family for an upscale treat when you visit Abe and Louis, located at 2200 Blaze Road in Boca Raton. Open daily for lunch and dinner reservations are accepted and the average price for dinner without drinks is about $85.